Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be making this roast in the crock pot. It's real simple. Anything you make in a crock pot is real simple. Stay tuned, let's make this roast together. Okay guys, the first thing I did for this roast was I seasoned it. I put my own seasoning on it. You can put whatever you want. There's no right or wrong way really to season a roast. But I seasoned it and I put it in the refrigerator for I think it's been about three hours. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to sear this. Okay, for a minute or two on each side and on the edges. What that does, I'm on medium heat. So what that does is it, it helps lock the moisture and the flavor in. Because we're going to be slow cooking this for, my gosh, probably five or six hours. Okay, so... But yeah, just just for a minute or two each side, just just till it's you know starts to get brown, you know, just enough to to lock the lock that flavor in there. Now, whoops, what what we're going to put in? We're going to put some uh, corn and some carrots in with this because the potatoes my potatoes weren't that good okay I didn't use them quick enough they weren't they weren't good so I mean it's life right it's life this is YouTube this is not and by the way guys for those of you guys that are just joining me I'm not a real chef okay I'm a jack of all trades a master of none this is just a a uh, playlist that that I have made for us to um, kind of share some recipes on and whatever and kill some time and hang out together so but I know I'm not a real chef you know I mean uh, this is my game right my channel my game and and my game I have two rules rule number one there are no rules rule number two strictly follow rule number one okay so let's see what we got here going on down here On. There we go. I'll zoom in a little bit. There. Let's check the other side. It doesn't take that long. See? Just just brown it. I might have went a little bit too long on that side, but that's okay. Uh, but it's going to be fine. Go ahead and shut this off. Just, just enough, just to brown it a little bit to lock in them juices. Now would have been a good time to try out one of them gloves, do a review on it, right? Just enough, see that right there? Just enough lock in the juices. And I'm going to take this over and I'm going to put it in the crock pot. Now let's set this, I want to set it right on the bottom there. Just like that. Right. Now I'm going to, oh, mess up the counter, monkey will kill me, huh? Up a, up a can of corn. I'm not going to strain them. I'm not going to dump the juice out of it. I'm just going to dump it right in there because that's all good juices there. Right. Almost cut myself. Now, yeah, there we go. Clickbait. I almost died. I got these carrots here, and I'm just going to dump them in just like that. There we go. I have another bigger carrot here. You can cut them up, whatever. Like I said, this is, uh, you know, when you're cooking, 
make it how you want it, you know? There's, everybody goes, well, what, what if I do it wrong? Well, did it taste good? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Did everybody else like it? Yeah. Then it wasn't wrong, you know? So now, what I, what I normally like to do is put, uh, like, beef, beef broth, chicken broth. Yes, you can use chicken on pork or, or beef. It doesn't matter. But since I forgot to tell Monkey when she was at the store, when she asked me what I needed, I forgot to tell her what I needed. Uh, I don't have any broth. So I'm just going to use water. Pour some water in there. Put them right in your way. Just enough to cover everything. We'll be fine because as it cooks, you know, it will it'll create its own juices. Just keep an eye on it. And uh, if it needs more water, you can add more water or broth later. Now this, I'm going to start out on high. And I'm going to cook it on high. I'm going to let it go on high for about an hour. Then I'm going to turn it down to low. And then we're going to cook it the rest of the time. And then when it gets done... There you go. Whoa. And when it gets done, uh, we'll take it out together and we'll look at it and see what it looks like. But, um, yeah, what the hell was that? Piece of corn. Okay. Alright, so... That's what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to wait about five to six hours. Depending on, you can slow cook this like on warm all day, 12, 14, 16 hours, whatever you, whatever you guys want, whatever you prefer. But I want this to be done about the same time as when Monkey gets off work, so she'll have a nice meal waiting on her. So, I'm just going to, I've got to figure out what I'm going to make with that. So, I think I'll have some noodles. I've got some leftover chicken from the chicken thighs. I may go ahead and boil that up and make some chicken broth type thing, like a chicken stock. Dump a little bit in to the roast and uh, maybe make some noodles. So that way she don't have to go back out when she gets off work, you know. So because she works very hard, she does a lot of driving, a lot of traveling, guys. So anyway, I'll be back with you and we'll check this out together. Hang tight. Okay, guys. I have taken the roast out of the crock pot and the corn and the uh, carrots. Now let's uh, take a look at this roast. Look at that. And that's the way it should be. Perfect. Sear it first. Of course, you know, do it your way. Have fun with it. There you go. And also, the broth that you have left over um, from the from your roast you know you can freeze that and use it kind of like a like a beef stock or a chicken stock use it and uh, you can make um, stew or vegetable soup or uh, anything like that so remember that you can freeze it and then you'll have it uh, then you know save money you don't have to go buy it and it'll taste better because it's homemade but anyway so that's the roast like I said I'm if you guys just join me, I'm not, I said it earlier, I'm not a professional chef. I'm not really a chef at all, but um, it's just, uh, I thought it was kind of a cool play on words, a funny play on words, you know, Chef Shea Bear. It's just a playlist uh, to where we can talk about food and maybe try different recipes. So if you guys have a recipe you'd like me to try, you know, pop it down there in the, uh, in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do about getting that out for you and so anyway guys uh thanks for watching and chef shea bear i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care that you have left over for your Blooper reels here lately. Not funny, monkey.